Hello, my name is Brucey, and I spent many years modifying and experimenting with my car, a Subaru Outback. I've learned a lot of things through these tests, and more importantly, I've had fun doing it. One thing I've learned is that modifying a Subaru is expensive. Modifying any car is expensive. In fact, just owning a car is expensive. But what about those that want to modify or customize their car without spending a lot of money? Or better yet, how about spending no money? Well, you're in luck, because this video is for you. I might have tailored this video to my car, but stay tuned. You could learn something no matter the vehicle you're driving. So here it is, my top 5 free modifications for my Subaru Outback. Free mod number 1 is this. Did I say free? How about almost free? If you don't have one of these, this is a cheap little carabiner. It's less than a dollar. Uh, I've got a bunch that uh, are like promos. You'll get them in swag. Stuff we all get. Those little giveaways. But this is what we do with a carabiner for tying down long loads. So once you've got your load secured, you tie it down any way that you can. Make sure it's secure. Check it, make sure it's not going to come apart. Put this in, in. And in this case, I actually had so little space. It was so close to fitting. It was such a small space here that I just tied it down. All this is doing is keeping it from coming up. And I tied the excess to the hitch because it was a convenient place. But there you go. Put a safety flag on it and it's safe. And that's all there is to it. This has a couple good features. Uh, if you need to tie something down, you have a strong attachment point. I've seen people like tie their rear wiper motor and stuff in. It's like, no, don't do, don't do that, guys. Don't do that. Just do this. Uh, this also prevents the car from beeping if you need to drive with the hatch open. Uh, and to get it out, you just hit the button like you're opening it. And you're done. So if you need to tie something long in the car, if you need to carry 8 foot boards in the car and they're sticking out the back or anything else long, this is super helpful. This should work on most vehicles as long as the pin is the same size as that there, it'll work. A great place to store this is right underneath the floorboard. And you lift it up, there's a little hook, hook it, drop it. Now as you can see, plenty of room to fit all kinds of things in on here but this is actually number two cheap mod or this one is actually free go ahead and get rid of this now you can't really hold a lot with this in place you can hold maybe a couple ps2 games over there a couple ps1 games over there a couple here a couple controllers and wires and stuff so i suggest taking this whole tray out take that out and look at all the stuff you can fit your whole super nintendo collection all your PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4 games, a Super Nintendo, all your PC games, GameCube, PS4, Wii U, all the wires, new Super Nintendo, PS4 controller, Xbox 360, PS3, PS2, all the controllers, and much, much more. To give you an idea of why you can fit so much, this thing is just gigantic. It's just this big empty foam piece, and it doesn't serve much function. If you're one like me to tend to carry things, this is a great mod, completely free. It doesn't hurt anything. Get rid of it. We've now moved to the front of the vehicle. I have these aftermarket seat covers that I had to take off for this just to show. But the lumbar area is awful stiff from the factory on this vehicle. And I've done it already to the driver, so I don't need to do it. But I will do it now for the passenger, and I'll show you what I'm going to do to make this seat at least for me, a lot more comfortable. What you need to do is dig down here and pull out the zipper. And then we'll go ahead with the zipper out. Go ahead and unzip it. You see this big white panel here? This guy, it's like those old ergonomic chairs that kind of went away, but unclip it. And 
and remove it. This is the panel out. You can just remove it. If you want a little bit more support there, but maybe not something so rigid as this, you can replace it with, this is a paint roller. You can put it and support it there across the lumbar wire. You can put a pool noodle there, or you can just put nothing there. But this really turns those seats into lazy boys, if you ask me. Uh, if you like that kind of feel in a chair, and a seat rather, it feels great. But for the sake of this video, I said free mods. All you got to do, zip it back and tuck this in. And you're done. You now have a lazy boy seat in the front of your car. While we are up front, this space right here is terrible. You ever drop something down there? Say a quarter? It's gone forever. You can't get it. You just can't. So, you can put anything there. I have this little product that was made for this. But you could put a rag there. You can put a pool noodle there. Just really anything to fill that void. There it goes. Anything to fill that void. And now when you drop a quarter, it stays right there. Super easy. And finally we are at number five, which means before we were not able to input GPS directions while driving. It would actually lock out this keyboard right here. Uh, by grounding the VSS or vehicle speed sensor wire going into the head unit, you're able to use it while driving. Now the car knows if there's a passenger or not, so I wish that this was connected. I thought about connecting it directly so that it could only be input if there is a passenger, but I didn't want to mess with the airbag. So I just took it out, took that safety out entirely. I do not encourage anyone to dis <laughs> to have distracted driving, but why a passenger can't input directions is beyond me. There's also the side effect of being able to watch videos while driving. I do not encourage that either. And I also don't encourage drinking while driving. Those are all bad. And honorable mention for me, these were free. But that's because I was a monkey that helped develop them and installed probably about a half dozen of these. These are the CKE inserts for various Subarus. There's really only a couple designs, if I'm right. He's probably going to be mad that I'm misquoting him here. But we went through a couple design changes on these. Uh, we went through a couple, like we added this collar here, and then we actually formed the cast while compressed a couple different changes but uh, we went through yeah several iterations trying to find a good balance what this insert does for lifted cars is stop vibrations that can happen about 18 miles an hour give or take there's a shimmy shake right around there some vehicles get it some don't but this fixes that issue so you can get these $30, $40 on sale, I think, at Anderson Design. These have to be mentioned that these are just great. They really do fix the shake problem that's plagued a lot of vehicles. Thank you again, Chris. So that is my top five free-ish mods for this vehicle. I've been making silly videos since before there was a YouTube. I'm glad that a few people enjoy my hobby. If you're one of those people, give me a thumbs up, like, and share. But before I end this video, I wanted to continue a tradition I got caught up in and extend a challenge to make a video to a fellow YouTuber. Which YouTuber? I have to go with Soft Roading the West. Watching his videos has taught me a lot of neat things, such as there is this line on a Forester fenders that once you see it, you can't unsee it. And I want to learn more things. So I am challenging him now to make a top 5 free mods video and eagerly await to watch it. This has been Brucey, thanks for watching.